Reporting live from 9,000 feet of elevation. <laughs> I can barely breathe up here. We are back for our third year in a row for mountain bike nationals in Winter Park. This is my first cross country mountain bike race since the Fayetteville US Cups in April. I've been very focused on the Lifetime Grand Prix, riding my gravel bike a whole lot, and I'm so stoked to be back on my mountain bike. I've been focusing on World Cups. I just came back from Lenzer Hyde World Cup a week or two ago, uh, but actually just been doing a lot of training too, spending a lot of time in Durango and putting in some work at altitude. This is the pre-race show. We're going to take you guys around the venue, get some interviews with the pros, show you the team tents, and show you what it's all about. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light of the blessed day <laughs> and the home of the brave. <laughs> I'm going to take you on a little tour of the venue here at Winter Park. This is an illegal maneuver. There is no riding bikes in the venue. I already been yelled at. Testing one, two, three. <laughs> Look at that. Look at this thing. New mic, baby. Oh, it looks Sponsor good. Sponsor specific. <laughs> we're trying to find the place where the press conference is. Press conference. But oh. as you can see, we're extremely unprepared. And confused. And we don't know where to, <laughs> to go. So we're here at the athlete uh, press conference. As you can see, it's yeah. packed audience today. Uh, we have a lot of people showing up, so it's really exciting to have such a big fan base and huge audience here and I'm really excited to speak to everybody. I'm her number one fan. It's all that matters. Slope side in Winter Park with the uh, current marathon national champion Steven Dowes. Who are you most worried about for the race this weekend? Who am I worried about? Mm. I'm not scared of anyone. Like wrestling? I think I like <laughs> some people I got. Ryan I might be I might be worried about Ryan. I bet you guys are the same weight but He's a little, you know. Yeah, he's got some nice bulk. And I think you could take him. You got the, the reach. I've got the gangle. Steven, I was wondering if you knew that um, Orange Seal helps uh, improve the porosity in the sidewalls of your tires. Porosity is a big word. I'm going to need a dictionary for that one. I, also, actually, it helps um, in the tire and bead mating surface, sealing that area, too. That's a hard area to seal. Oh, I understand the mating surface. The mating. Yeah, I get that one. Yeah. Uh, Here with... The man himself, CEO and owner of Rocket Slots, Ryan Standish. Um, Steven Davis said that he could take you in a, well, in a in wrestling match, one-on-one. On one. I asked him if he was worried about anyone, and he said, no, not even Ryan. you have anything to say to that? I think he would be a tough guy for me to wrestle because he's got like a whole foot That's on true. me. Careful. All right. Pointy elbows. Yeah, <laughs> and big calves. <laughs> and big calves. Sheesh. <laughs> I'm here with Howard Grotz. How are you feeling about the race? Uh, yeah, I don't know, excited. It's gonna be rad. I think this is like the, I don't know, kind of most stacked field we've had in a while. Do you know that Orange Seal creates permanent plugs in your tires? Uh, no, didn't. <laughs> How are the sensations? You're mic'd up. How are we doing? Oh! <laughs> Yeah. You saw it from him. <laughs> Too much. I'm here with my main man Nemo. Nemo, how's Winter Park treating you? <laughs> How many banana peels we have by the end of the week? <laughs> where, Zero. Where? This is the pre-race show. Good morning. How's it been? Ah, uh, good. How's the final been? adjustments for Gold's bike. Ah, uh, nice. I wanted to ask you, um, who who is more of a pain in the ass to work with, me or Sevilla? Oh. Sorry, but the both are really difficult. <laughs> <laughs> How are things in Winter Park, Colorado for you? Uh, they're going well. Uh, who's more of a pain in the ass to work with, me or Sevilla? I knew you guys were going to ask me that. <laughs> we're here with Brayden Lange. Uh, Brayden, what do you look for in your uh, tire sealant company? As long as it's orange, it's good. Yeah, baby, you heard it from him. Here with uh, Ricky Boy. Ricky? Hey, Ricky. Excuse me, Ricky. Ricky. We're here at the Pog booth, lounging, awning, shade, right at the start finish. Let's check it out. 
So in here we have all of the new glasses. These are my favorite. These are the Devours. Super sexy. These are their super lightweight elicits. Uh, also, highly recommend. We have everything from full face helmets. They have gloves, protectors, clean aesthetic, tons of signs. They feel so smooth. It's like pajamas, but also performance athletic wear. Look at this thing. Oh, I gotta try this thing on. Look at who we found here. Julian, how's it going today? Ah, uh, pretty good, and you? It's going good. It looks like you have uh, about 690 athletes. <laughs> uh, no, not, not that many. Um, I think we have about 17 or 20 with us. Nice. So, uh, yeah, and bikes are ready to go and race in about an hour and a half. Let's go. What kind of traits do you look for in your sealant? Sealant? Something's going to seal. <laughs> That's right. We got it, baby. <laughs> the mother of American cycling. We're here with Julia. Julia, how are you doing today? I am doing so good. It's game time. It's game time. You're on the pre-race show. I, how are I, things in Winter Park? Things were actually doing really good. The boys had a qualifier yesterday, and all my boys were in the top five, so that's a good, you know, harbinger for today. And my girls, fortunately, didn't have a qualifier, but they're all primed and prepped, and, and basically they're having the best time of their life. It's awesome. We're going to be cheering Bear National Team on. Welcome to the pre-race show, Brayden. How are things here in Winter Park? Oh, they're good. They're good. What's your name? Where are you from? Uh, Raymond Castacavage, and I'm from Highland Ranch, or Littleton. I was so stressed. Yeah. They're like, I mean, I was shaking on the start line. Like, oh, yeah. I bet you could watch back the clip, and I was just shaking the whole entire time. Dude. Threw <laughs> up within the first mile, and I was running off zero fuel for the rest of the race. Oh, that's so But brutal. I went from 22nd, which was dead last from my category, to 8th. Colorado. Sweet man. Well, nice work, dude. Yeah, thank you. So Way to much. fight. It's been a big day, uh, pre-race day. We've had a lot of time at the venue. So we're gonna close out the pre-race show, but thanks for tuning in, and we will see you tomorrow for race day.